Good morning, everyone. Today I am here to discuss something about a vertebra. Why vertebra? It is very common and very interesting bone in our body, which is also called a bone of the axial skeleton. So we will discuss only the different anatomical parts of the vertebra. This vertebra may be of different varieties, but in general, what are the parts of a vertebra and that to be discussed. Let us see the different vertebras. Can you see the different vertebras are there? So the examiner may ask you to pick up any vertebra. Let's take this one. And after taking, the examiner will tell you how to hold the bone in anatomical position. So to hold this vertebra in anatomical position, you must be knowing which one is anterior, which one is posterior, which one is superior, and which one is inferior and which is right and which one left. Let us see, this broad part should be anterior, this side, this is my anterior side and this part, this pointed projecting backwards, this is the spine, it should project backward. So now we know which one is anterior, which one is posterior and this spine to some extent slightly inclined downwards, downwards, that means this part should be inferior and this part is superior. So ultimately both the sides will be lateral part. So if you hold the bone by your two hands like this, like this. So this is the anatomical position of a vertebra. If this vertebra may be of cervical type or thoracic type or lumbar type, you have to hold the vertebra in this way. Is it clear? Okay. Then the examiner may ask you what are the different parts of this vertebra? Can you see the different parts are there? But you have to know the different names of the different parts of the vertebra. Suppose this is the larger part, it is called body. This is body. And remaining part, posteriorly, remaining part, this part together called vertebral arch. So anteriorly vertebral body and laterally and posteriorly vertebral arch and in between these two parts there is a big foramen like this, this foramen, this foramen, this is called vertebral foramen, vertebral foramen. So the body it is having again superior surface, inferior surface, anterior surface, two lateral surface and this is posterior surface, posterior and two lateral and one superior one in inferior all together there are six surfaces, but laterally and anteriorly they are continuous, like this. And this vertebral arch, what are the different parts of this vertebral arch? Can you see the one projection coming from the postulateral part of the body, this one, and this side, this one. This is called pedicle. So pedicle coming from the postulateral part of the vertebral body. This is called pedicle of this side, pedicle of this side and on the upper surface of this pedicle and the lower surface of the pedicle there is a notch. One is superior notch, one is inferior notch. These two notch, superior and inferior. And from the posterior end of the pedicle, this bony projection backwards and medially, this one this one backwards and medially and both these parts join together this is called lamina of right side and lamina of left side both these lamina again fuse together to form this projection that is called spine or spinous process and these two processes one left one right from the junction of pedicle and lamina is a transverse process a right transverse process left transverse process and also from this junction one is above from both sides one articular process and one articular process. This is called superior articular process of this side, this is called superior articular process of this side and this is inferior articular process of this side and this is inferior articular process of this side. Right left, right left. So all together there are four articular process, two superior, two inferior. So if the examiner asks you what are the processes of this vertebra, 
you can take two transverse process, two superadicular process, two infradicular process, and one spinous process or spine. So these are the different parts of the vertebra of any type. And in the next class, I will discuss you the individual vertebra of different regions in the next video. And if you are having any question on the general features of a vertebra, you may write me in the in my comment box. Or if you like to know some other topics uh, which are more interesting, uh, which are very uh, important from the examination point of view, I can discuss it in the next video. So you like, share, and subscribe this channel. So I think uh, it is clear to all of you.